Hey everyone, here's another example from section 3.3. This example is going to require us to use the quotient rule. So it's a little different from the previous examples, but it says find, find the derivative of the function y equals 8x minus 5 over 4x plus 7. Uh, that tells us because we have a uh, division that we're going to need to use the quotient rule. And you can see the quotient rule here is if you have two functions being divided, which we do, 8x minus 5 and 4x plus 7, then we're going to take the original function on the bottom, g of x, multiply it times the derivative of the top function, minus uh, the, the uh, function on top times the derivative of the uh, second function, which is on the bottom. If you notice, it's pretty close to the product rule. The only difference is now you, well, the only difference is that you take a difference. So the difference between the product rule and the quotient rule, at least on top, is this one has an addition sign, this one has a subtraction sign. And then we're going to divide it by the function that's on the bottom squared. So let's write all that out. So I know that for the quotient rule, if I have f of x over g of x, and I want to take the derivative, I'm going to get g of x times f prime of x minus f of x g prime of x all over g of x squared. So let's start that out. Let's start with uh, g of x first. We'll write that. So we're going to say uh, d y, yes, dy with respect to x of this function here, 8x minus 5 over 4x plus 7 is going to equal, and let's take the g of x, which is the bottom, we'll say 4x plus 7, and we're going to take it times the derivative of the first of the top function. So what's the derivative of 8x minus 5? Well, the derivative of 8x minus 5, this gets to be 0, and 8x, the derivative of that is 8. So we'll say times 8, and then we're going to say minus, and we'll write the original function of f of x, which is the top one, so that's 8x minus 5. And we'll take the derivative of the bottom. Well, the derivative of the bottom for 4x plus 7, 7 cancels when you do the derivative to 0. And then 4, 4x is just going to be 4, so we'll have that times 4. And that should all be over the bottom function, 4x plus 7, squared. Right, g of x squared. So 4x plus 7 squared. Now, I'll probably write that a little bit better. I don't like to write my multiplications at the end, so I'll write 8. 4x plus 7 minus 4, 8x minus 5, all over 4x plus 7 squared. And that's the derivative using the quotient rule. 